Fanny to Fanny. Welcome back. It is Wednesday and I am doing my weekly cash stuffing. Also, straight after this, I'm going to be doing next Sunday's uh, stuffing of the savings binder, the mini savings challenges. Um, yeah, a bit of a life update while we give this account. We've got 50, 100, 50, 200 to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300. 3, 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60. And it's 340 that the extra 20 bucks was money I was going to put in my Sunday mini savings challenge last um, week as part of some money I had put, a, put aside to save. Um, I had to spend a little bit of that because uh, one of my Fano members went into hospital. Um, they're out of hospital now, but they spent nine days in um, because they got a really bad virus and um, they're older. And they developed a couple of complications which were quite worrying. So they needed to be in hospital so that they could be monitored and so that they could have some interventions and it's going to take them <coughs> excuse me wee while to get back to full health They're feeling pretty washed out at the moment so uh, me and the kids are actually basing ourselves over at Koru's house um, just to make sure he doesn't have to do cooking and cleaning and you know just to support him to help him getting back to full health so um, I did more spending than I expected. As I mentioned, I took it out of my um, the money I'd set aside for savings. And you have to do that sometimes. Um, so there's a bit of change here, which we will count up when we get to that envelope. But actually, first before we start, I'll make some change so that when we get to my daughter's allowance, I've got $14 for her. So that's two, three, for five dollars and change. I'm going to set this aside. And I always start with um, my envelopes that go into my wallet. Um, it's just going to be the huge this week. Food is going to get one hundred and seventy dollars. You will notice that this has crept up, um, even though. I've given myself a bit more in food and petrol. I'm not finding uh, that I have significantly more change left over at the end of the week. Uh, $50 for petrol and $20 for fun. So it just tells me that that's the, that's the right amount to put in the budget at the moment. <coughs> so I'll put that in my wallet off screen. Cool. Well, it's sorted for later because I do need to go and get some things for dinner. So my revolving binder is going to get most of what's in the tray today. Household is going to get five. So we'll actually give it a ten and slip the five back in there. Pin money for me. That is going to get 20. There you go. Beauty. Remember I just spent um, all of this on headdresses and such. So again, it's just getting five. They're going to do it that way. Probably got enough fives for the rest. Health, you guessed it. Health is also getting $5. There we go. So now it has 10. Clothes as well is going to get 5. And so far I've got 25. So this means 30 today. It's good to have a stash of 5s because you can't get them out of the cash machine. And I've, um, I looked at my bank statement. I got charged three dollars for an over-the-counter transaction you only get one deposit and one withdrawal a month with my with that bank account um, 
and I, I really struggled to remember without writing it down whether I've used it that month or not it's just yeah it it just seems like a fee made up to trip me up do you know what I mean yeah giving is also getting five Let me know if there are any fees in your life that you feel like are just getting are just there to trip you up. Also, I um, it's a good job that I you know that I looked through my bank statement this week because I noticed Spotify went up from fourteen ninety nine a month to sixteen ninety nine a month. When did that happen? I must have missed that email. Okay, the pink folder. The dentist I'm skipping today, kids fun because the holidays are fast approaching. I'm going to put $20 in there. And that doesn't seem like much because it's not. Let's face it, to do fun with kids. Uh, but they go for a week to their dads in the first week. And I'm going to be um, working again, working alongside a kid um, with special needs that first week. Um, so I should have a little bit of extra money and pay from that to be able to spend on the kids the following week. Um, the furbos are getting nothing, car nothing, Christmas nothing, gifts nothing. Um, all of these sinking fun folders at the moment, because money is so tight, I've had to put extra into fuel and petrol and, you know, that 20 bucks um, doesn't seem like a lot, but because I'm not able to put it in the sinking funds, I'm really relying on doing these mini savings challenges and when I complete them, because they're only small, um, they might be 50, 100, 150 bucks, then I'm putting them in my sinking funds. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm just doing it like that, see how I feel about it. It just always feels like a struggle, really. Um, change jar. So this is this. It's just all the change that I've got left over from and end of getting my essentials for the week. I save them up over the month, so I've got 15 there. So that's $7.10. I'm um, quietly surprised that there's anything to put into rollover at all. Um, because I've been buying a lot of lunches up at the hospital. It's never cheap. 710. Sorry, just so you know, um, I have a little cheat sheet off to the side if you're new here. If you're not, you've seen this before. So these are all the envelopes that are in here. And um, before, ahead of uh, when I get paid, first I check my bank balance and make sure there's, there's no withdrawal transactions that I wasn't expecting. Um, and if there's not, that's cool. I know how much I'm taking out. Um, if there were, then I make adjustments to make sure there's enough money left in my bank accounts to pay APs and whatnot. So I take that money out in cash and then I divvy it up over all of the um, categories. Each category has an envelope. The bluish ones are my green binder. The peachy ones are my pink binder and the kind of grey ones are the black binder. So I hope that kind of, it's a very brief overview, but I hope that that would help you if you're looking at doing cash um, budgeting like this. Mm. So let's put that aside. I am going to put six bucks into kids. They're going to get five, six. And I will count it up at the end of August and hopefully there'll be at least 50 bucks there to be able to plonk it in their savings accounts. It's just for long-term savings. And that's all for that binder. The last bit of money, $14 as usual, is going to my daughter for her allowance and this should be $35 yep this is going into my month head binder and to fund this binder I am using a challenge by Caro Cash I just thought I'd mention again because I, I believe um, that this 
quarter four of this um, in this series of savings challenges. There's three quarters because there's sorry, there's four quarters because there's four quarters in a year. So the quarter four one, um, which will be starting next month, is free on Caro Cash's um, channel. Sorry, that was a really convoluted way of saying it. Freebie, Caro Cash, I'll link her below. Okay, so, yay, that's quite a, um, a hunk out of my budget this week, but um, it's gonna be $10 next week, and I've got three more weeks, and then I've finished this out. And you'll have to tune in because what I do with this money is I unstuff it from the back here and then I figure out which envelopes I'm going to put it in. And, oh, come on. It's always this envelope wants to stick to itself. But I suppose it's a good thing, eh? It's better than being loose. It's kind of friction and the tightness of that envelope that keeps the cash in there. And I have point, put coins in here, but I prefer to put coins in the zipper ones. Um, these ones are nice and slimline, the heat slimmer, so you can fit more of these in a binder like that. Anyway, I digress. So once um, I finish Caro Cash's savings challenge, I'm going to divvy it up between uh, rent, um, variable expenses, food and petrol, utilities and insurance. Um, I'm currently a week ahead. That amount there won't get me another week ahead because rent's expensive, y'all. Um, but it might get me a week ahead on those, on those other categories. So yeah, we'll just have to see how I divvy that up. All right, thanks for being here. Um, do the like and subscribe or, you know, click the buttons below. That'd be cool. Um, nice to see you. Sorry, again, I couldn't be here on Sunday. I really, I do actually enjoy um, making these videos for you and I feel really encouraged by your comments. So um, feel free to chat to me below. Otherwise, I will um, see you back here on Sunday for my mini savings challenge. Kia ora.